so far we have seen how to uh, configure Tor browser and, and what is Tor network, how it is secure, how is it better than like you know our regular browsers like Firefox or, or, or a Chrome browser. We have also seen like Tails operating system, how it is uh, encrypted end to end and how, how it's provide anonymity and privacy. So I think after learning all of this, I think now we are ready to search for the dark web or deep web or uh, hidden services. So that's what we are going to cover in this lecture. I'm going to show you a uh, different search engines. Uh, so, so there are certain ways you can search for the dark web services, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's somewhat similar to uh, what we do on a day to day basis. Like uh, if you want to search for any YouTube, you just go to the Google, you search for the YouTube or you directly go to the site if you remember the address. Uh, same way uh, in the dark web there is also search and there are different search engines so one is better than the other one uh, you can also use different one based on your preferences but yeah there are certain search engines which will help you uh, search for this uh, dark websites and this will also help you uh, in terms of finding out uh, like you know some hidden services and, and I will also show you how you can identify which one is protected versus unprotected services. So please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe to this channel for the weekly episode and let's get into it. So let's see what's the difference between uh, dark web or deep web uh, services or hidden services versus regular one. So as we, we saw this like in a diagram earlier. So here it's your user uh, or we are the user who are connecting to different uh, destination and it goes through a couple of nodes within the Tor network uh, and then finally the last node will redirect us to the destination. Now this destination could be facebook.com or, or any any website which are uh, which are also available from your Chrome or Firefox. Now this particular uh, connection is, is not secure because of course it's not within the Onion network. Uh, secondly, if this is not over HTTPS or it's not encrypted by Tor. So depending on how the end-to-end -end encryption is performed. So that's a, that's a weak link and that is what we want to change it. Uh, for that what we need to do is instead of going outside to search for a destination uh, some of the hidden services are within this Tor network so instead of going to this final node here and, and from there to destination the request will go from here to the middle relay to the third network which is inside the Tor network so your traffic will never go out and and that that way all of the connections will always be secure so that's the main difference now let's see in in the real scenario how this actually is going to work out so first off uh, once you're connected to the now you can also do this from the tails uh, like our system as we saw before but I think let's let's start with the the first search engine which probably you, are, you would have heard is DuckDuckGo and this is uh, very popular uh, like you know search engine uh, it will give you uh, it will search for the pop, like you know public websites as well as the hidden services as well so for example let's say you want to search for Apple here you can easily search and it will give you the same website or same address which you would get otherwise on the Firefox as well the only benefit you get from here uh, DuckDuckGo is it does not collect uh, much of the data so you will not see targeted advertisement uh, compared to Firefox and Chrome so that's the major advantage uh, second thing is you can also uh, get access like you know hidden services so as I said like this uh, browser or this search engine will let you uh, select both uh, hidden as well as non hidden services now to access the hidden services one thing you would have to make sure is you need to go to the onion uh, version of this uh, service so right now we are or DuckDuckGo.com so this this one is publicly hosted but we are not within Onion Network now you can also search this particular address uh, by just going here and say DuckDuckGo and Onion you can easily search that or you can also copy and paste and search here essentially it should take you to the same website which we are currently however now instead of .com you would see at the end Onion and that means you are within the Onion Network from here if you if you make search for anything for example let's say we search for vulnerability it will give you the results which we can see here and let's click on one of the thing ideally what I would like to do is copy link 
and then paste normally so that's how we make sure so here as you can see we can still it still gives us the result which is uh, for the publicly available results right not not just the onion uh, network uh, traffic so instead what we are going to do is uh, we are going to see this particular uh, browser or search engine and this search engine is mainly used to traverse dark web the only issue here is as you can see uh, they have a lot of advertisement sometimes this is like you know also scam uh, the other issue we also get is sometimes it slows down the browser a lot uh, Tor network anyway is a little bit slower because it's a uh, protected network compared to your chrome but uh, due to this advertisement and everything it slows down a lot however i wanted to show you because the results you get here is is pretty good compared to like you know other browsers or other search engines so as you can see now if you click on any of this you will go to the uh, website which are uh, protected by dot onion now if you try this browser, uh, if you try this address in any other browser like chrome or firefox you will not be able to get it because this is only uh, restricted to the uh, onion network uh, let's see the next one uh, which is Phobos uh, one thing I, I forgot to mention so the links uh, I'm, I'm trying here you can also actually search here so for example if you want to search Phobos onion site it should give you the uh, address of the onion site uh, as you can see here you can also do advertisement like a lot of uh, dark websites uh, they also do advertising just like a chrome so that's why it's not as popular as the other browser but yeah you can uh, also search for phobos onion site here you can also search on the DuckDuckGo and it should also give you the onion uh, addresses of all the sites uh, this one is much cleaner as you can see uh, and, and also it gives I guess uh, very close results none of these search engines are as good as Chrome uh, sorry uh, Google uh, to be honest but uh, I think we are not much concerned because of course we we have to uh, give up something if you want to uh, search for the hidden services right so that's why you will see but it still gives you uh, like you know results based on the keyword so probably try different keywords on different browser uh, different search engines and see which one uh, do you like the most I'm also going to post you all of these links uh, in the description uh, in the pinned comment as well so you can easily uh, look after but one thing to note uh, this uh, URLs are not permanent so tomorrow if you try this the same URL the site might go down or, or they change the address uh, so make sure it's always better to kind of search from here so for example let's say we want to me uh, onion site let's see if we said that probably we'll have to go through uh, find uh, exit onion link sometimes there is also uh, results which you will find like list of all the browser with the uh, with their onion links but sometimes uh, like most of the time it doesn't work because these links are keep on changing right so that's why it's very difficult to find it but yeah uh, the one that I've collected I'm gonna put it on the on the description down below so you can easily access if you want to so here uh, it's the same thing it's a decent search engine uh, the results you will not see any advertisement or anything here however the results are not as good as the uh, Phobos so I guess by far uh, Phobos are the uh, my favorite I think I have closed the Phobos yeah this one is the torch uh, network which has a lot of scam and uh, advertisement but yeah uh, obviously all of the search engine will will run little slower than compared to other search engines uh, due to it's only going to search in the onion network so i think this is good information uh, you can play around uh, once you get access to any of the search engines see which one you like the most uh, in the future uh, videos i'm also going to show you what are the other ways you can find the hidden services this is only one way you can do it uh, and and it's same as like you know whichever whichever has the better indexing it will show first on on the first page but there will be 
many other ways you can find these hidden services so we're gonna explore that as well but until then just play around connect with the tone network connect with the tails if you haven't already and and see what are the hidden services that you can figure it out if any of your interests etc so leave your feedback in the comment section below also tell us like if you have been using any particular search engine I think uh, that will be uh, immensely helpful uh, to also get feedback from our audience as well uh, so please do that uh, if you have any questions uh, let me know as well and let me know how do you like this uh, series so far uh, thank you so much and i'll see you guys next week bye